All right, good morning, yogis. We are here with another episode of Yoga and Stories. Today, we were supposed to be at our favorite, one of our favorite Fort Worth spots, Leaves Book and Tea with Miss Tina, but unfortunately, we're all still stuck at home today. So grab your mat and join us for another class at home. All right, so getting started, we're gonna put on our yoga goggles. Show me how you're feeling today. Are you feeling right side up -y? Are you feeling upside downy? Or maybe you're feeling somewhere in between. How you feeling today, yogis? Oh, well, I'm so happy to be here with you today again. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. We appreciate it so much during this crazy time of the COVID experience. Hi, Elsa. Yeah. So Elsa's gonna be joining us for yeah. a little yoga today, maybe. I like having my face. Oh, okay. So we're gonna start with a breathing exercise today. And I want you to take some nice deep breaths as I play for you the Ting Shahs. So the Ting Shahs are these really cool symbols. They look like this. And if you've been to my classes, sometimes we bring these out and practice with them and they make a really beautiful sound. Would you like to ring the Ting Shahs for us today? Okay, ready? Let's do it for the camera. Turn around. Ready? Knock them together. Good job, yogis. Oh, careful, you're gonna have your coffee, please. Now, we're gonna take some big breaths together. Ready? And as we listen to the sound of the ting shadows. Ready? Here we go. for now we can play with them <laughs> later all right boys and girls let's do our piece begins with me can you come sit in my lap so you can show them how to do it you're so good at it i want you to show everybody how we, how three-year-old nola can do her piece begins with me ready peace begins with me peace begins with me Great job, yogis. I'm giving you some air high fives, too. Good job. All right, let's get our bodies moving. We're going to do a yogis march now. Are you ready? Get your body up, and let's march to the music. Okay, yogis. Sarge here. Stand up tall on your mats and follow the instructions closely. We'll practice our hatha, and then we'll end with a meditation. Yogis, march! The yogis are marching to and fro, hurrah, hurrah. The yogis are marching to and fro, hurrah, hurrah. The yogis are marching to and fro, so lay on your belly and do the pose. Belly pose. Breathing in and out through your nose while you practice your yoga. The yogis are marching and they're mad. 
scratching on their toes. Now it's time to pick your own clothes, and you pick your own clothes. Right down and out through your nose while you practice your yoga pose. Good job, Nola. The yogi sit from PCJ, hurrah, hurrah. The yogi sit from PCJ, hurrah, hurrah. The yogi sit from PCJ with hands together and arms. And you all keep breathing in and out through your nose while you practice your yoga pose. Mommy's got to use it, baby sister's got to use it, big sister's got to use it, everybody got to use the iPad and we've only got one, don't we? We got to share and that's kind of what our story's about today. This book is called Ariel the Yogi and I picked this book up off Amazon.com. This is by Mary Nin, illustrated by uh, Jelena Stupar. Nope, not yet. I still need it. Thank you, though. We're going to do, you can have it when we're done. Thank you. I still have some more to do, okay? Come back when the next song's on, and then you, then you can have it. Mine! Alex screams. You yanked it from me, replies Ariel. This time, Ariel refuses to give in to her little brother and becomes impatient with him. But then Ariel feels bad. When she talks to her mom about it, her mom replies, we've been really busy with school, lessons, and sports. And kids carry stress just like adults do. Maybe we can start yoga again. Yoga helps me be more patient and kind. Not right now, please. I want your headband. Not right now. Yeah, I need your headband. Nola, please stop. When you don't have time for yoga, deep breathing is a great tool to help you counter stress, says mom. She shows Ariel a simple and calming breathing exercise. Inhale through your nose for three full seconds, pulling your stomach in. Now exhale through your mouth for three full seconds allowing your body to relax. Repeat this three times. Let's do it together three times. Are you ready? Breathing in, pulling in that belly. Out and relax. Breathing in for three. Out for three. Last time, in for three. Out for three. Great job, yogis. I'm sorry. Me too. I have an idea, guys. What do you think about opening up a yoga studio with me? Ariel asks. We can't, we can't do that. We don't know how, replies Eileen. Ariel enthusiastically responds. Yes, we can. If we stick together, we can do anything. Later that afternoon, Ariel crafts a plan. To-do list. 
Create a logo and a mission statement. Get certified in yoga. Create YouTube videos to use for marketing. Name the yoga studio. Host a grand opening. I think she's pretty much got it together. Mission. Share yoga with unicorns all over the world. What a fabulous mission for your yoga studio. She gives the virtual studio a name, Unicorn Yoga Studio. Then she sets up her camera to record their very first yoga video for the YouTube channel. Oftentimes, when Ariel is performing yoga, her mind wanders to faraway places. I can stand tall like a mountain. Can you stand tall like a mountain? Good job. I can bend like a cat. Let's bend like a cat together. Raise that back up. Good job. I can exhale and moo like a cow. Ready? Cat to cow. Yeah. Moo. I can see the world from a whole new view in my downward dog. Down dog pose, everybody. Hips in the air. Run your dog. Good job. Look, I'm as patient as a cobra. Cobra pose down on your belly. Hands underneath your chest. Oh, lift up. My cobra grew a growth. What is this? Arr. We can be courageous like a warrior in warrior one. Warrior one pose. Excellent job. <laughs> warrior one. Thank you. We can be brave as a warrior in warrior two. Let's turn our feet and our arms out wide for warrior two pose. I can do anything that a warrior three can do. Warrior three is our flying warrior. Are you ready? Uh oh, little birdie, you need to get off my foot so I can do my flying warrior. Ready? Here we go. Flying warrior. Good job, yogis. I'm as still as a tree. I'm as strong like a boat. Boat pose. Great job. I'm as powerful as a lion. Oh, this one, one of our favorites. Get down on your hands and knees and let out a really loud lion shout. Are you ready? One, two, three. Rah! I, here is my goofy frog pose. Oh, frog pose. Come onto your feet, bring your feet out wide. Sink your feet down. Now let's jump like little froggies. Ready? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Good job. Boo. My plank is like a tabletop. Plank pose. She's doing plank pose on her elbows today. Let's try that one out. So put your elbows and your hands down on the ground. Stick your feet back. Plank flat as a table. <laughs> <laughs> and here, this is my gentle flower pose. So flower pose, we're gonna stick our feet out wide. Take our hands underneath, ouch Nola. And then we're gonna lift up and hold our flower pose. Yeah, good job, Yogi's. Please stop. <laughs> I can stretch in my child's pose. Ah, child pose. Good job, Yogi's. After a long day, I can rest in my sleepy pose. And now I am feeling amazing. The end. So at the end of this book, it has the full sequence that you can do at home. So without reading the pages in the book, you can just go and do all of these pages. Please stop. I don't like that. Thank you. Excellent job, Yogi. So we are going to get moving again with another song. This time, 
we're going to do this little light of mine, yoga style. Are you ready? Come on. Oops. Good day, yogis. You don't want to get the blues, so pick up your knees real high and run fast in place while I tell you a little story. Ready, please, ready, please. Yoga was created a mere 5,000 years ago. Imagine those master yogis practicing their craft. It was all about breathing, stretching, meditating, and deeply relaxing. And now, 5,000 years later, the yoga that we practice contains breathing, stretching, meditating, deeply relaxing, and having fun. Ready? So I need you to find that spark of life deep inside of you and let it shine, let it shine, let it Show shine. Show me your hearts. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, 
Come open your mouth up really wide and stick out your tongue. Now close your mouth and blow out your cheeks. Now I want you to make a fishy face. And then I want you to squeeze up your face real tight and then roll it out and forget about it. Now I bet you're feeling really relaxed. Take this time to allow your magic yoga carpet to take you to your secret garden. Resting and relaxing, trying to stay still, and imagining your special place. Maybe it's a garden full of flowers and trees and beautiful plants. Maybe it's the beach. Maybe down to our knees and let's practice our peace begins with me one more time ready peace begins with me close your eyes peace begins with me Stop. Excellent job, yogis. Nola is very concerned about the mayfly in the yoga room here. Although, do you guys know that mayflies feast on mosquitoes? I think we need to increase the mayfly population. They look scary, but they're not scary. They're just clumsy little bugs. <laughs> 
that make their way inside our house. All right, so we're gonna finish our, our um, class with our Namaste song. We've talked a lot about kindness and read a lot of books about kindness all month long, and I hope that you are finding ways to be kind to each other. Remember that yoga helps us be more kind and patient. So if you're getting frustrated with your little brother or sister, or maybe even your mom or dad, maybe your older brother or sister, okay? Do some yoga. Bring on the kindness, okay? All right, so let's sing our Namaste song together. It goes like this. The light in me sees the light in you. The peace in me sees the peace in you. The love in me sees the love in you. Namaste. The light in me sees the light in you. The peace in me sees the peace in you. The love in me sees the love in you. Namaste. Namaste, little yogis. We're going to say namaste to everybody out there virtually all at the same time. It's okay. It's just a mayfly. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. It's just a mayfly. Here we go. Ready? Namaste, 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 for our online Zoom classes. If you haven't signed up, the link is in our bio and plastered on our Facebook page. So please get on over there, check it out, sign up, DM us with any questions. And if you are in the service industry or a uh, yoga professional like me and you are needing this yoga service and don't have the money, it's okay. Just email me, let me know, and I am happy to send you the Zoom link too, okay? Namaste, yogis. All the peace and love and light in me sees all the peace and love and light in you and sends it out to the world. Namaste.